Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm gonna talk about the Avid pan and zoom effect today. And I'm gonna show that by using an example of a large web page. Imagine a producer said to you, I wanna do some sort of cool graphic with this web page. How would you do that? And how would you do that in Avid with the Avid pan and zoom effect? So the first thing I would do, I'm using the Google Chrome browser. I'm sure other browsers have similar ways to do that. And there's an extension called screen grab and once you add this extension to your chrome browser then you can click on any website and you have this little button right here called screen grab which says it has access to this site and when i click the button you have different options i can do just the visual portion the whole page i'm going to save the complete page and just to show you an example here this page goes down I don't know, in theory, what is this, 10, 11, 12 web pages, right? This is a page about the top 10 best new breweries of 2020. And I'm going to save this complete page. And you'll see this little button right here. It's actually, I don't know, making an image of each little page. It's going to make a PNG file. And what's cool is it comes right up with this open save dialog box and says, where do you want to save this PNG file, right? I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now, just to show you an example, um, if I go into After Effects and I import this file, this file is 18 by 72 by 22,000 by 22, pixels. The width is 1872, which is close to 1920, right? In After Effects, obviously, it's much easier. You have this 1920 by 1080 window, and then you can manipulate the image inside that window however you want using pos position and scale uh, for example i made this little move right here it started at the way bottom of the web page and i zoomed up you know 10 frames or something like that and it zooms up all the way to the top phrase imagine this had a little grow on it right there export this out bring this into a video you have to do a little grow at the end of it and uh call it a day now uh, looking at this again it probably doesn't need to be full screen it would probably be better on some sort of background so the issue with Avid is, if I was to bring in this PNG file, and I'm going to bring it in with the source browser, I know I should make a video about the source browser. Source browser is an awesome, awesome tool. So now what's going to happen when you import is you're going to get error messages. Cannot be imported. Um, the source browser gives you this message. If you try to just input import media and try to get that file, it's going to tell you this image is too large to be loaded. So this is a way to get around that using this Avid pan and zoom effect. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add edit onto this blank timeline and I'm going to drag this Avid pan and zoom effect into here. It's 11 seconds. I get this, you can change this later on. And then when I go into effect mode, I'm going to click this button here that says import image. And I'm going to find that on my desktop. I think I called it the top 10 breweries. And there it is. And again, this came in in this certain way. And what's going to happen here now, if I hit the zoom factor. Oh, what's happening here? I'm displaying the source. So now in the sense you want to display the target. And now when you adjust this zoom factor. Pretty cool. You can actually go in and out of this large image. And the same thing if I was to move the exposition not the X position, excuse me, the Y position. Look, now I'm actually, just like After Effects, I am adjusting the whole up and down of that web page. And again, if really quickly, if I made a keyframe here and then a keyframe right here, started at the bottom of the web page and zoomed up to the top. Let's see, keep going all the way to the top. That's the top one. And now, quickly you know you could have somewhat of a nice little transition there and then have the web page grow a little bit so that's a kind of a really cool interesting way that avid can use media again i feel like i have a lot more flexibility in after effects doing this type of thing but hey you can do it in avid and just to show you one more example of how that works i had this image of this friendly looking woman drinking beer it actually, it, the pixels are like 5,600 by 3,700, right? Much bigger than a 1920 by 1080. But if I was to use source browser and bring this in, again, it's going to create this media from the JPEG file and make this 1920 by 1080, even though it started at 56, okay? So the other option, again, which we just discussed, make an edit, edit here, drag on my Avid pan and zoom effect. Again, go into effect mode and import image. 
find that same image. And there it is, in which case I'm going to display the target, in which case I can zoom in and get that nice representation of the 55 to of the 5,000 pixels instead of the 1920. And to show you the difference here, I blew up that 19 by 20 image. Let me put this in the monitor here, right? So this, the 19 by 20 image blown up, this was with Avid Pan and Zoom blown up. You see it's much less blurry, pixelated, whatever you want to call it, because there's so many more pixels. And Avid, in this case, is using all of the pixels because of this Avid pan and zoom effect. So with that said, I hope that is very helpful. And I hope you find the best new breweries of 2021. And I hope you learn how to make videos and effects much quicker so you have more time to drink beer. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.